Yo, welcome back to the channel. So today uh, I'm pleased to announce the launch of my new product, the Halo RC Pandora. So you might be asking, what the hell is that? And essentially it's a DJI Inspire 2 naked. So I've taken uh, a really one of DJI's flagship products, the Inspire 2, which is quite old now, but it's still such good quality that it's used by hundreds or even thousands of people, professionals all around the world. Loads of TV shows and newscasts all use Inspire 2s. And what I've done is taken the gimbal and the whole video transmission system off of the Inspire 2 and created this box to house all the components required to make it work. Super high quality uh, footage that you can get out of this and mechanically stabilized. So it's all super smooth, no need to be using gyro flow or anything else and cropping in your field of view. Um, you can control the camera from the remote while someone's piloting the drone with this attached to it or whatever this is attached to uh, a secondary person can be controlling the camera and pointing the camera where they need it to point you can also have full control over all the camera settings so anyone who's familiar with an Inspire 2 will know what an Inspire 2 can do. And if you don't know, go and have a look at what, what you can do with an Inspire 2 and what footage you can get from it. Because this can do all of that and more. Because now you can mount this to anything you want to. It hasn't been designed just to go onto drones. You can see here on the outside panel, uh, there's these four holes. These are M4 holes that are used for mounting a cheese plate to. Um, if you don't know what a cheese plate is, I'll just put a photo over now. And what this is used for is for mounting other hardware too. So you could mount a, ha a handle or um, what I intended it for is that you use a cheese plate and then you use those um, suction cup things that attach it to a car so you could attach it to the side of a car have somebody sat in the passenger seat and they can do all the follow footage so yeah it's available today and you'll see a link in the video description uh, to halorc.com where you can go and check out all the details i've got some nice photos on there and i've written up a whole explanation of what it can do um, but yeah, let's head over to the bench now and I'll give you a bit of a closer look and a rundown of how it's, how it's put together and uh, how it works. Uh, yeah, let's go check that out now. Okay, so we're up here on the bench now taking a closer look at the Pandora. As you can see here, it's in its top mounted uh, orientation. So it's got the gimbal mount on the top. It's quite a compact uh, box, hence the name Pandora. It can run either an X5 gimbal like this or the X7 gimbal. You simply attach that on the top like so. Then at the back here we got the power input which is an XT60. It can run 4 to 6S, uh, a 4 to 6S LiPo. I highly recommend just running it straight off a, either a separate LiPo or straight off your drone LiPo. Got this on off toggle switch there for obviously turning the system on and off. And you can see here this big open slot. That's for one of these uh, DJI Cine SSD. There's a triangle there, and there's a little triangle on the back of this, just there. So you know how to line it up, but even if you get it wrong, it doesn't actually go in. So you can just slot your Cine SSD in there, and it's connected. Uh, you can get away of running really small little LiPo. I use these little 850 4S LiPos and uh, get about six minutes of filming with it. You'll see on the bottom here that there's a little fan. That's to just pull 
that's for pulling in some fresh air just gives it a little bit of fresh air to breathe with so as you can see there the gimbal does its own little startup procedure um, and you'd be using a DJI Inspire 2 controller with your phone connected then you'll get the feed of this through onto your phone and you can use the controller to control the gimbal or if you don't control the gimbal at all it just stays facing the same direction and stabilizes like so so you could effectively just use it as a like as a handheld gimbal for getting shots with And as I say, that's just the top mount version. This is just a little mock-up that I've made, but um, it's for showing you how bottom mount would look. So you'd attach your gimbal like so, and then you can attach this end to the bottom of a drone and have, uh, have that hanging uh, like so. Obviously when it would fire up, it would hold like this and you could control it around. So that would be good for just like the Inspire for filming stuff on the ground that you're higher than. And I'll show you now how the box all fits together. Here we have effectively a naked Pandora. So just with the carbon fiber panels and none of the outer casing. You can see inside these two plates here is the main control unit. That's the gray box off the front of the Inspire 2. Um, I've, I've put these panels on either side that clamp around it with standoffs and allow me to attach more standoffs coming out like this to create space on either side of it to hold all the other components. So I won't go into all the components that are inside it at, the, at this time You'll have to wait for the build guide for that. Effectively, I've created a frame, carbon fiber frame for this main control unit, and then used the outer case panels to hold all the components in place. So behind these panels, you'll find like uh, the power distribution board on this side. That's why the power is there. And then underneath that is the SSD, um, connector then on the other side here you can see the little mmcx connections there so yeah i've got all the sma to mmcx connections on this side and it also houses um, part of the gimbal extension so the way that you're able to move the gimbal from the top to the bottom um, i haven't been i haven't had to do anything clever because dji already make this component so this is actually designed for the Matrice drone. This is so that you can top mount a gimbal. Um, this plugs into the bottom of, into where you'd normally attach the gimbal. And then you bolt this to the top of it and you have your top mounted gimbal. So I've just taken this and figured out how to make it work with the Inspire 2. And um, yeah, so unfortunately this is a discontinued part so there's less and less of them uh, available to buy and it's quite an expensive part i've managed to secure as many of them as i can at a reasonable price and so i'm able to build uh, a fair amount of these kits in some countries i've noticed that in the us you can actually still buy these from shops and a lot of places are trying to get rid of them so you can pick them up quite cheap obviously importing those to the uk it wouldn't it would work i wouldn't be saving anything so no point me buying those so i'm actually offering the pandora kits um, as a full kit that will include the gimbal mount and everything you need or as a part kit with the gimbal mount removed because uh, you might already have one um, or you might be able to pick one up really cheap that's about it really um, as with all my cameras it's going to be available as a DIY kit so 
you'll get all your all the carbon fiber and these um, nylon SLS printed uh, panels and everything you need to build your own Pandora. The only thing you'll need to add is an Inspire 2. Uh, you can also send your Inspire 2 to me and I'll build, I'll convert it into one of these or um, as so long as I can pick them up at a reasonable price, I will be uh, picking up Inspire 2s and converting them. So there'll be a ready to film version, so uh, you don't have to worry, you can just... Uh... Okay, so thanks for sticking around and checking out the new product. Um, as I said at the start of the video, head over to the Halo RC website, um, link in the description, and uh, you can go and see how much uh, it costs and what comes in the kit and all the juicy details loads of pictures and everything you should need you might need to know should be on there if i've missed anything out or you have any other questions just chuck them down in the comments below or chuck me an email uh, email address is on the website really pleased with how this one comes out and uh, i've I, I'm, I'm sorry I don't have any better footage than the video that I put up about a month ago. Um, all my drones are a little bit on the small side to really push it, push uh, to fly fast with something of this weight on. Um, really you're going to be needing like an X8 eight inch or maybe even like a 10 inch or something like that. Um, to fly really fast with this on board. On my seven inch, you can easily hit like 60, 70 kilometers an hour without it, without any issues. Um, but yeah, if you need anything, if you wanna see anything faster than that, then you're gonna have to wait until people have been using these in the field and the footage they use is allowed to go public. Yeah, it's one of those, you're just gonna have to wait and see. But anyone who's already using something like an RS3 with a Komodo on top and trying to fly around eight kilos or so um this should be a pretty good option for you hey yeah thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one laters